Sufyan says, one of the speakers is saying that all the prophets are alive as they all prayed behind Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the night of Mi'raj, the night of uh, uh, the ascension to the seventh heaven. And he says, as prayer is prescribed only for the living. Now, what is meant by this statement of uh, uh, this person or this speaker? What is his intention? Because it's important to analyze what people say and trying to detect their intention. So if he simply said that, I would agree with him. And I would say, yes, they are alive, but. And this but is extremely important because their lives are different than ours. So ask this speaker, is their lives similar to ours at the moment? In the sense that we eat, we drink, and we visit the toilet. So those prophets and those who are dead, and you say that they are alive in their graves, do they eat, drink, and visit the toilet? Do they age like we do? Do they get married and reproduce? If he says yes, then he may need psychiatric evaluation because we know that they don't. And if he says no, then we say, why is that? And he would say, most likely, because their life is in al-barzakh. And we know that we have three stages of lives. The life of the dunya, which we live in and which we die in. Then we move after death to the life of the barzakh, which is a transitional period between this dunya and the akhirah. And then we have the life of the Akhirah, which is eternal, without an end. And this is where people go to paradise or go to hell, may Allah protect us. So if he acknowledges that they are alive in Al-Barzakh, in this case, we have no dispute. But if his intention, which is most likely, is that they are alive, Hence, we can call them and they can hear us and they can respond to us and they can benefit us and protect us from harm, then this becomes a total different ball game. This is completely shirk and takes a person out of the fold of Islam to believe in such. Being alive in the graves does not mean that they can respond to us when we call them. As we know from the Quran and the Sunnah that we're not allowed to call anyone except Allah Azza wa Jal. So all those who had died cannot know what we say to them and what we ask of them and they don't know what's happening to us. And this is why in the Mutawatir Hadith the Prophet ﷺ, when he mentioned the hadith of the pool on the Day of Judgment, he said that there will come people from my ummah whom I recognize and they will be sent away and prevented from drinking from the pool. And I would say, they are my people. Why are you doing this? And I will be answered by you, O Muhammad don't know what they've innovated after you, which means that you were dead and you did not look at them, you did not see what they had innovated in Islam. And this means that the Prophet doesn't know والسلام, what is happening in our world after he had died. So what this speaker had said is correct, but it also 
dependent on his intention. Most deviant scholars or speakers who say such, such a thing, they do this to endorse the fact that you can call them and supplicate to them and seek refuge in them, which is totally shirk and nullifies a person's Islam.